Merci, monsieur. Do you stop? Please make your way to bay number five. What's the matter? Oh, I don't feel so good. If I could sit down. Thank you. Could I have a drink of water? Of course. Mr. Brady. Fine. Thank you. Have you anything to declare, madam? No, nothing at all. Could you open your bags, please? Which one? All of them, please. Oh, no. Thank you, but I'll do that. Have you anything to declare, sir? Mr. Brady. That's right. Had a nice trip? Fine. What goes on? Looking for something? Cocaine. Okay. We've had a while to expect a large consignment. Ah. Have you got any, Mr. Brady? Take a look. That won't be necessary for you, Mr. Brady. Thank you. Have you read the notice? Anything to declare? Open the case, please. Oh, that's me, Nick. Oh, where's Madeline? She's coming. Did you get the stuff through? It's in the bag. Get it out on dollars, man. Hello, honey. Come on, let's go. Well, it's served its purpose. I won't need Peter Brady's passport anymore. No, it isn't the sort of thing you'd get away with twice. How'd you enjoy Paris, honey? See the Eiffel Tower? Yes. And the invisible man. He was cute. He was more than cute, my dear. He was essential. Thank you. Look, I had some trouble leaving Paris. I oh, you again, Mr. Brady? How do you mean again? You came in on the last plane. Not me. I have my case and my passport stolen. Passport? Yeah. Do you want to take off your glove? Sure. Oh, Brady, all right. Someone came through an hour ago and showed your passport. He wore bandages. You better come with me. We must report this to Scotland Yard right away. Yeah, this way. You'll keep. Are you the manager? Yeah, but what are you doing? Wait, wait outside. Uh, this is uh, private. You can't come in here to talk business. What kind of business? You like your groceries delivered, so Matt says. Matt? Well, why didn't you say so? I don't want the information to spread around. We keep our mouths shut at this organization. Good. Any use to you? Yeah. Maybe I could find one or two customers. Okay, there's 500 to pay. 500? You trying to be funny? I'm not even smiling. Now look here. Don't waste my time. Have you got the money? Matt must be out of his mind. If you want to get the stuff somewhere else, buy it there. Wait a minute. Look, I won't even get my money back. Cut it out. The hobbies will pay anything. Matt can get 500 anywhere. Well, it'd better be good stuff. You want to try it? No, I never touched the muck. 
prosperous business you've got here, huh? Yeah. Now you can get out of here, can't you? And send that girl back in again. It's a pleasure. We've just had news through from Interpol. They expected a big consignment of illicit drugs to make its way into England today. We were standing by to jump on it. And on the smugglers. The girl you speak of is probably one of these. Afternoon, Sergeant. Ah, Brady. Good afternoon, Inspector. Oh, Mr. Brady was just going through the records, sir, to see if he could pick out the girl who fainted at the airport. Good. Do you mean to tell me that all these kids are mixed up in the dope racket? That's right. But some of them are only children. It's a vicious business, Brady, and a vicious organization that runs it. Once a young girl's addicted, they ring have her in their power. They use her, corrupt her. By the time she's 25, she's finished. Well, she's not here. Can I help in any way, Inspector? Perhaps you can, Brady. It's easy enough to get these small peddlers, but Get the men at the top, that's a different matter. Listen, Inspector, I don't like the dope racket, and I don't like being impersonated. I'll help you. Come in here, Sergeant, please. Sergeant Winter, Mr. Peter Brady. How do you do? Sergeant Winter's an expert on the vice squad. We're going to have some unexpected help, Sergeant. Quite unique. Mr. Brady is going to work with you and Sergeant Day. You three can go out on the town tonight. Well, you know the situation. Get together and work out your plan. Every night, Sergeant Winter. Every night? Oh, I'm certainly catching up on my nightlife. Thanks. It's highly overrated. I'd soon have my eight hours sleep. Something wrong with your eyes, Sergeant? No. The stuff makes my pupils contract, so I look like a dope addict. <laughs> you were such a nice girl when we met. <laughs> well, where to now? The Golden Monkey. The head waiter there could be in the game. Take your time checking the coats, so that I can speak to Victor alone. Good evening, madame. We've not seen you lately. I've been sober enough to keep out of this rat hole. Have you got a table? For you, madame? Always. And for anyone else. Victor. Madame? They tell me you're selling the real thing. Help me. Get me a refill. I don't understand. Cut it out. I know you're in the business. Quick, here comes the boyfriend. Progress. He's fallen for it. Quick, Brady, follow him. Come in. What is it, Victor? Customer wants a refill. Who is it? She's been in once or twice. They will sell her anything before? No, but she really needs it. She's a junkie, all right. Mm -hmm. We got some in this evening. Pour yourself a drink.
Right, Victor. Have you seen the wine list? Oh, yes, thank you. Hello, madame. I think we have dropped this. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> Looks as though you fooled him. I wonder where Brady is. I'm right here. He keeps the cocaine in his safe. I managed to top the packet up with salt. Give me that lipstick, will you? Start to holler. You don't pay good money for salt, do you? Victor! Victor! You rat! What is it? Salt! It was salt! You're getting out of here. Hey, 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 now, what is this? What goes on? Take this woman out of here. Now, uh, see here, if you're looking for trouble... She's looking for trouble, all right. Try to sell me salt for 20 pounds a spoonful. Take this lady back to her table. You cheat! Oh, come on. You're a cheat! Come you on. swine! Come sit down. Everyone's looking at us. That girl spells trouble. I got the stuff back. She said it was salt. Ah, she's crazy. It is salt. Well, she put it there, then. Try the packet. I got it straight from Mac. I just opened it. Salt. The dirty double-crosser. He made me pay through the nose for this. I'm going straight round there. Tell the girl we'll be back with the stuff. Quick, you two. We're on our way. They're going to the man who supplied the stuff. I'll go after them now. You follow in a couple of minutes. Okay. Where's Matt? We're just going to bed. Matt can wait. Hey, what is all this? Matt! What's the idea? What's the idea of selling me salt at 500 pounds a packet? Salt? Salt, that's what this is. Come on, Matt. Let's have no trouble. Give us the genuine article this time. You've had it already. All right, Victor. He's asked for it. Give it him. Find the dope here and at the club. The young lady who put on the fainting act at the airport is in the bedroom. Sergeant Winter! Pick up the gun in that car!
This is Madeline. The police are on to us. They've got Matt and Harry and Victor. Easy now. What happened? They've got me too. Come on. Come on up there. It was the invisible man. He put them on to us. Hello. Hello. What's going on? Hello. That was Madeline. Brady's onto us. Sounds as though he's working with the police. They've got three other boys. Maybe you're not so clever as you think you are, Nick. You shouldn't have impersonated Brady. A man like that doesn't forgive. Now we're none of us safe. Don't worry, Elmer. I'll fix him. He won't give us any trouble. Hello, oh, Sally. You're looking mighty pretty today. Thanks. I'm sure you would too if I could see you. Are you getting rid of your invisible bowels? <laughs> I guess so. You were home late last night. Oh, I had quite a night out. What's wrong with your car? It's going fine. Well, what's that man doing to it? What man? Round by the garage, working on your car. He's got the front up. Funny. I better see what it's about. Well, there's no one here now, son. Let's have a look inside anyhow. Reach in and release the catch. Get into the house, Sally. As quick as you can. There's a bomb in the car. He's busy. He's taking a bomb out of his car. I'll see if he can come. Who is it? Oh. Are you all right, Uncle Peter? Yeah, sure. Well, someone wants you on the phone. Who is it, Sally? He won't say. He wants to speak to you. This is Peter Brady. I believe you just found a bomb in your car. Who is that? You wouldn't know me. As I meant to affect, I had one of my boys planted there. Oh, you did, huh? Mr. Brady, I never did you any harm, did I? No, you only tried to blow me up. Just keep away from the police, Mr. Brady, and mind your own business from now on. They won't give you another chance. It's up to you. Won't let it catch us. Hold tight, Sally. Where are we going? To Scotland Yard. And I want the boys behind to know. You're still with us, Sally? Yes, Uncle Peter. You better go fast. No, I mustn't do that. I must make sure they don't lose us. When did you step on it? Nobody lost him. There must be something wrong with his car.
Sally and I made sure that they knew we were coming here. If they stick to their threat, they'll try and get me after I leave. Put a tail on me, and you could catch them. No, they're too smart for that. They'd see you were being followed. I have an idea, sir. Yes? I think we could tail him without their knowing it. Careful driving an ambulance. Well, it wasn't my fault. He stepped right out in front of me. Gangway. Dead or alive. About 50-50 by the sound of it. Good work, boys. Put him there. So this is the invisible man. Let's have a look at him. He's still out. Now we finish him off, eh? Not yet. I'm curious. Let's have a look at him first. I don't get it. This is no invisible man. I thought Brady was invisible. You're right, I am. Get your hands above your heads. Back against the wall, all of you. You boys started something when you got the idea of a phony invisible man. Only it didn't occur to you that two could play at this game. Give me Scotland Yard. We have a lot to thank you for, Brady. Oh, don't thank me. Thanks Sergeant Day. He's the guy who took the hammering. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> what I want to know is, uh, when do uh, Sergeant Winter and I uh, do the town again, huh? How about tonight, Mr. Brady? Sergeant Winter. Oh, cut it out, Inspector. I'll be along. You're coming home with me, Uncle Peter. <laughs> OK, come on then. Thank mm -hmm. you. 